Welcome back, welcome back to Lockdown Backyard Gardener And today I have something very special uh, It's a closer look at the African land snails Hope you enjoy I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that recently uh, subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate everything and it goes a long way. And uh, as you click on my channel, just give me that like button. You know, even if you don't agree, just like it or dislike. I don't mind. Drop me a comment. Any questions you may have, I'll try to help as much as I can. In the next video I'll be uploading, I'll be talking about how to encourage eggs how to encourage the snails to lay these eggs and what type of conditions the soil must be and what they must eat and I think you're gonna enjoy that video I quickly want to mention about um, the CMOS video I made and one of my subscriber basically asked and said uh, I didn't cover how to get live sea moss. Um, quick answer to that one if you're watching. Um, you have to basically buy the dried up ones. Um, the experiment I did didn't really go too well. Um, so I recommend you try some of these herbal shops. They have loads of sea moss all the different types you get purple ones and also get the yellow ones so i hope that answers your question cool uh, back to the video i want to show you a quick close-up of the mouth of the snail these mouth over 300 teeth and it goes all the way back down to the throat so as they suck the food into the mouth it literally breaks the, the teeth breaks down everything into the particles and that's why that's how they eat and so that's why it's very good to crush the uh, any shells or any calcium powder crush it um, so it's very easy for them and they don't really need to do much work but just to suck, uh, suck the food in as you can see the slimy skin I can understand why people might be put off by it but I just put it down to not knowing anything about snails. They're extremely gentle, low maintenance. And the meat is 
beneficial to the health. In fact, it, it has been stated that it's actually not healthier than normal red meat that we buy in our shops. So, that's no brainer there. Yeah? Press the notification bell for more videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.